All right, where are my jewelry lovers at? Look at this Judith Lieber necklace. 165. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what is going on here? Really tall, possibly over the knee. I'm gonna grab these. You guys know I sold my last free people for over $100. So these are $14.99. Yay! We have some shoes. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on multiple platforms. And today we are having a family day with the family. We are um, close to Madison, Wisconsin. We're close to Madison, Wisconsin, and James is dropping me off. We went to Cave on the Mounds, so go ahead and stay tuned to watch the footage of that, which is awesome, after um, you guys go shopping with me. And we are at Goodwill, so Daddy's dropping me off. They're gonna nap in the car. We've had a long day, and let's go see what I can find in a Goodwill I've never been in before. Oh my gosh, I see Girl Scout cookies right there. I'm going to have to see if they take card or if I can get cash in here because I don't have cash. Okay, so there's cleaning supplies. There's a cart. And, oh, do I see shoes? Ooh, very sparse, very sparse for the shoes. Okay, we might have some luck with the belts. They are too. 99 this one looks like like a floral and then another like embossed women's belt this one is eddie bauer 2.99 i will take that black one uh, here we go let's see Ooh, this one's kind of nice i'm definitely looking for genuine leather this is aeo i actually sold two American Eagle belts this weekend. So for $2.99, I'm probably gonna list it for around $20. Um, yeah, so just feeling to see if they are leather or not. It's a lot of fabric belts. All right, uh, here's a navy belt, Talbots. I do like selling like blue belts just because they are more rare, but there is a little bit more wear than I like paying $2.99 for it. If it was in better condition, I would get it. Ooh, here's a Lauren Ralph Lauren belt. This one has a tag on it for $1.99, so that one's interesting. Um, I think I will definitely grab that one for $1.99. All right, so right in front of my face are these button suspenders. Okay, I see it says 100% silk. I'm gonna check on this part to see if it says anything. It does not. So I'm wondering if this is $2.99 as well. I think I'm gonna grab it anyways because it has like a patent leather detail. And there is a bit of a design to this black. So I do pretty well with butt suspenders anyways. So I think I'll grab that one. Little fanny pack. My husband just called me and said that there is a um, a a yarn store literally right in the next door parking lot the, and it's a yarn store that we would frequent actually every time we would travel so i'm pretty excited about that because i did not know that it was right next door um, it's like one of my favorite yarn stores. It's called the Sow's Ear, and I, I don't know if you guys know, but I love, love, love knitting so much. Excuse me. Anyways, I love knitting, and um, I don't really get a lot of, of a chance to knit um, with having kids, but I definitely love natural fibers and knitting hats for them, socks, things that can go a little bit faster. Each of my babies have their own um, knitted blanket. So this one is Land's End and it is really, really nice um, condition, really nice quality leather. I'm gonna grab that one. Okay, the shoes are 
so sparse. Let's see. Kenneth Cole. $7.99. Not like horrible pricing. This one looks like a Skechers. Nope, Cole Haan. Interesting. Cole Haan for eight. The toes on the suede are worn. So the color is pink. I don't know what the color of the day is here. And then there's some shoes that go that way, but there's not a lot to pick from. Okay, I think I'm gonna have more luck with belts than anything. I did find a tie for my husband that matches his work colors. They are teal and orange. Let's see, I'm, these are like more of the men's belts, I guess. So I see this big giant buckle here, guess. Yep, we're gonna get that one. What does this say? $5.99, I don't know. It's still a really big statement buckle. I'm sure I can get at least 25 for that one just because of the big statement. Let's see, genuine leather, China. I don't see anything else on there. This one's very distressed and someone put a lot of holes in there. Okay, nothing there. All right. Does this say anything? I cannot tell what that says. This one looks nice because it has like that crock. Let's see. Or alligator or something. It says brass. Um, I cannot tell what it is. All right, I'm going to leave that one. So I just figured out that the color of the day is actually pink. These sketchers were at the bins. I would pick them up. They are, they say $5.99, so not a bad price. The bottom says $12. Don't know what that is all about. But yeah, the insides look good, but I, I don't know. Should I get these? The bottoms look good. Let's see what size they are. They are a size 14, huh? Pretty big size. There is some wear right there. Okay, we're not gonna get those. These are crumbling on the inside. Okay, LL Bean Tech. These have cracking right there. Ramica, which I've sold that brand several times. Um, but they sell very slowly. We have more Skechers. I wish I was more of an expert on men's dress shoes because these are by the brand Floorshime and they are more of like a vintage brand and some of these oxblood colors are um, Cordovan leather which is a very desirable leather shoe. I believe that the Imperial, Floorshime Imperial does do the Cordovan leather. You can tell because it, um, I guess, bends more than creases, so I'm thinking this one is not. There's definitely a way that you can tell with Cordovan, and I don't think this is it, um, but I just wanted to let you know that that is out there. They are out there somewhere. Um, the Cordovan leather loafers, Oxfords, things like that. I believe Alan Edmonds sells some. The Floorshime, um, other brands, I think maybe like Magnani and stuff like that, but yeah. So, let's see. Clark's. Haha, I found the women's shoes finally. <laughs> Could not find them. So it looks like we have this for a selection. Looks like they are all in the same place. So, we have Joseph Abound. These are like more of a purpley. What are these? Cole Haan. Hmm. They are kind of chewed up right there but I do like this side stretch so they are an 8B they were in a better condition I might pick them up I do like selling tall boots especially if they're well made but like um, by Cole Hun. so I see some cores by Michael Kors but these are priced up at $19.99 here's some lucky brand for $5.99 if these were half off maybe Here's some purple Nikes. These are $12.99. Yeah. 
Lucky Brand, $7.99. These are actually really cute. Aren't they so cute? I like that leather strap detail. Let's see. Oh, they're worn right there in the back. So I'm not even gonna mess with those. We have these look like nice quality. They have like a suede on the back. They're by the brand Earth, which I actually do pretty decent selling their boots. These are $12.99 though. Eh, I'll pass. Ooh, look at these Clark's Artisan. These are cute. $7.99. They were half off. I might grab them. I'm being a little picky. There's some aerosols for half off. Here. I'm not gonna grab them. I pick up aerosols all the time at the bins, so we're not going to grab those. Here are some Born, $5.99. And I feel like I just picked up some that look just like this. One State, I think that's a Nordstrom brand. Those um, naturalizer loafers that I picked up at the bins with you guys um, that I said the style um, sometimes sells. I actually did just sell it, I think, this weekend or a few days ago. Yeah, they actually already went out. So sometimes that brand does sell. Here's some Clark's Cushion Penny Loafers for $7.99. These kind of look like Clark's, but they're not. Ooh, what are these? Oh, no boundaries. They kind of look like Doc Martens. We have, ooh, Piccolinos. I love Piccolinos. Let's see how much they are. $7.99. They have wear, but I'm going to clean that up. Love, oh, and they kind of have too much heel drag. Maybe if they're like in town by me. Like I didn't have a bunch of kids in the car, <laughs> I might pick them up, but I love selling this brand. Piccolinos is one of my favorite brands to sell just because I really like their shoes and the quality. Um, Here's some more Piccolinos, but don't look how cute these are. Okay, so we have these for $7.99, super cute. They do have this ding right there. I think I'm gonna grab these anyway, they're really cute. Really unique, really cute. I think I can sell them still um, for a profit. So I'm gonna pick these ones up. <laughs> these are my only shoes so far, you guys. Let's see what else, Reba. Naturalizer. Here's some Clark's Indigo patent leather. Yeah, not finding a whole lot. So I'm looking through these scarves. There is this gorgeous all silk scarf. It is so lovely. There are some bleach stains on it. Not gonna get it, but I definitely would have if it didn't have the stains. And then look at this like hand crocheted edge, so pretty. So I think someone made this honestly because this is like that doily crochet. I can also do doily crocheting, which is really fun. If you know crocheting, you would really like the doily crochet. Ooh, this one also feels like silk, really, really lightweight and airy and beautiful. I'm gonna check this one out. If it's like three dollars or under I will grab it so lovely so yeah a lot of times people take their tags off 
but I still, this is still silk. You can definitely tell. You can also do a burn test on like a thread for um, different fibers and smells. But very sure that that one is silk. This one's really pretty too. This one probably does have a tag. I'm gonna take a peek at these scarves just because the shoes are a big womp womp here. I absolutely want to get this, the salad bowl set. So it says hand wash only, which is why I'm not getting it because we had one and I just threw it in my to burn pile because my, hand, my husband does the dishes. Don't judge, he's a dishwasher. I basically do everything else. <laughs> but his job is doing dishes and he cannot hand wash things, he just doesn't. So, to save all that, because there's like soap re film residue all over it. When we have, so just to save it, we just are burning it. And I wish I could have a wooden bowl um, but then I would have to wash it and that's just not that's just not how it goes What are these chefs of faith? I still have time so I, It went a lot quicker than what I had anticipated What are these? What are these? These are interesting just, What are they for? Holding something hmm. Interesting Sometimes I go in like the bathroom section and look for like discontinued um, toiletries and I've done pretty well with that. I see a box. I must open. Must open this box. Nothing. But it's really pretty. Velvety box with like silver plating. Looks like someone could in, um, engrave their name in there. Um, I kind of want to get this. I feel like I've done this before at like a friend's house when I was a kid where you literally roll it forever and Yeah, then you can have ice cream when it's all done rolling But this is definitely gonna be something that just kind of sits in the house until we use it But I really want to get it. That would be so much fun for the kids $4.99. I'm gonna pass on that, but that looks like so much fun. All right, I think that there should be purses here. Let's see if I can find the purses and wallets because I think that's like my last hope of finding anything. Ooh, look at how cute. What is this? Is this a little girl's dress? J. Crew small, but look at how cute this is. This looks like Annalise could almost fit this. She is in a size like 6T now and she's only four. She's my tall girl. Well, all my kids are, but this is so cute. Love it. Not gonna get it though. All right, I see hats. Looks like all kids hats. Let's see if I can find purses and such. Hmm. So here are the wallets. Very, very sparse here. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot. There's like Ipsy bags. And what is this clutch? This looks vintage. <sighs> it just has that. Which is it? $5.99. No. Okay. So more scarves. It looks like scarves are $2.99. So let's see. one looks like a vintage scarf if you're looking at vintage scarves um, and it is more high-end they'll actually have the designer name printed right on the scarf instead of on a tag okay I think that's it for scarves I guess I'm forced to look at purses stone mountain yeah if you know me, I don't really particularly like to sell purses as much just because they are more cumbersome to store and you have to take a lot of measurements like drop strap, depth, blah, 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 blah. So a little bit more than I like. 
Rosetti. Okay. I think that is that. Okay, so we are headed to the Atomic Antiques and look what I see right there. Another Goodwill. Ha 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 ha. So let's, uh, we're gonna go check out both of those while the kids are still not sleeping. It is a thing. They do not sleep in the car. So um, I am excited for antiques and then, yeah, Goodwill. And then we can go eat dinner. Mm -hmm. I think these work. are the last, <laughs> these are the last two stores. Okay, so this place looks huge and they even have carts. So we're gonna grab a cart. Oh, they have furniture, they have, they have all the things, look at, look at all these things. I am so excited. Obviously we're here looking for jewelry, but if you know me and you follow my channel and you subscribe to my channel, you know that I love antiques. If you could see my face, I am smiling so much. Oh, this is great, okay. I'm gonna try to stay away from people while I'm recording. All right, so far I've seen a lot of really neat mid-century modern furniture, but no like little boutique-y um, places for jewelry. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. Okay, so <clears throat> I've been finding these little, like little vignettes with jewelry. And when you find only little tiny pieces or section of jewelry in a bigger booth that sells other things, usually they price up or underprice, but most of the times price up. The jewelry, as you can see, $13. Um, these are 12. I think that's more than I would even price on eBay. But if you are looking for jewel, or I'm sorry, furniture, they have some amazing, unique furniture here incredible I love these figures oh, I love that one with the, with the girls right there I love gold frames let's go take a peek at how much this is what does it say 2495 oh it's so beautiful here's a man 325 Brass tray. Oh, this guy is on there. That is awesome. So neat. And then that divider, berry boho. Love that. jewelry lovers at look at this Judith Lieber necklace 165 oh my goodness that is insane that is a maximalist statement necklace you see those women with the profiles crazy all right, let's see what else. <laughs> oh, that one's pretty. The blue rhinestones. Okay, still haven't found anything for my lonely cart. Three stripes here. Let's see. Let's see if we can score any. I'm sure <laughs> they've already been sorted through. This one's kind of interesting. Bass tracker. This vintage hat. Of course, it's crumbling. Let's see. $10. There's a John Deere. Um, Louisville. I don't know a lot, but this one's totally crumbled out. This one was $25. Let's see. 
you guys see any that are jumping out at you, let me know because I don't know a lot about vintage trucker hats. Okay, we found some jewelry that is not behind, like glass, and we're just going to take a peek. So $7, Let's see if this has any markings on it. It's an enamel flower. No markings, so pretty. It's like seafoam green slash aqua. Really, really pretty. Right, it's this one. Piano with hearts. That one looks like 1928 which is a um, in, this, in like a vintage style. So let's see, piano pin, $8. I'm trying to see if there's anything that might have gotten missed, like possibly these maybe. If this is like jade and gold. What's the other one? This one says green stones, $10. I'm gonna take a peek at those posts to see if there's any markings anywhere because those might be something. Um, I'm just going to hold on to these in my hand. Oh my gosh, the Sailor by Ruby Z. So sorry for my nails, you guys. They're totally chipped. I'm just gonna do them and then my mama self did not have time do any of that. This one's pretty. It's like sea glass. See some screw backs. Oops. We have this rhinestone. More clip-on. Ooh, these are really pretty. What are they? Hmm. Okay, so um this is really pretty. There's no like maker on it though. Some genuine pearls. There's this one that's for 14. And it has one of those pins that come out. I kind of like this. Kind of like it. I might wear this for a while and uh, then sell it. It's a big, chunky, obnoxious piece with this stone. Very like, I don't know, ethnic, <laughs> brutalist. Um, primitive something something along those lines so I think we'll put our one thing in the cart so far here we go I'm on the floor if you guys can't tell look at those jelly belly peacock birds right there so cute here's an interesting link set right there cufflinks I've sold two pairs of cufflinks this weekend um, yeah, so it's, it appears that almost everything in this antique shop is priced um, at eBay prices or a little bit over or a little bit under. Oh, this one is stunning. Look at that Bow Park Lane. See that right there? Pin or pendant. Oh, look at these pink. Those look like celluloid little atomic flowers. They're so cute. And then, oh, there's some really interesting stuff here. Look at those. Glass or lucite apples. Sarah Coventry apple pin and earrings. That's super cute. Huh. Oh, I love those earrings too. Those little rhinestone ball dangles. They're clip-ons as well. So cute. Do you see these charm bracelets? Those are insane. And there's more over here. Look at these charm bracelets. Lucite swirl. That one might have some glass pieces on it with art glass and flowers. Wow. Here's a hair comb. So, so pretty. More like an art nouveau style. Oh, that big chunky turquoise piece. 650. Wow. Can you imagine having a collection of jewelry like this? Can you imagine? Like, look at this one right here. Wow, so pretty. 
Oh my gosh, look at this piece right there with that face. Oh my gosh. I have, I have to like move out of the way a little bit. There you go. Wow, that is insane. Well, I guess today we're just looking at a lot of beautiful things because I'm not finding a lot to resell. So if you guys are part of the um, Mount Horeb and Verona and Madison area of Wisconsin, I'm so sorry. <gasps> what is going on here? It is the land of sparkly brooches <gasps> and big light. Oh my goodness. What? 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 I have, I'm like, I, I just, uh, there's like no words. Look at all this Bakelite in here. Oh my gosh. There's probably some very, oh, like that. Those apple cherry berry things. That's probably a very expensive piece right there. And then this one with the um, inlay where it has like a lot of different colors together. That one's probably expensive as well. Wow, insane. All right, who wants to look at these with me too? All these figural blingy rhinestone pins. Some of them are articulated like the lizard. They're probably almost all modern. Oh my gosh, birds right there. Oh, oh and that one with the Rivoli. <gasps> so pretty. And a seal. Horse. And look at that big gigantic one right here. Gigantic. There's a castle. Oh, and a bay. That is gorgeous. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, I love those colors so much. <gasps> and a Rivoli spider. Oh my gosh. You guys, I am dying. Okay, let's just let's just keep uh, looking at jewelry together. Yeah. A lot of these are priced at or just right around eBay prices. I have that one, or I might have just sold that one, the Sierra Cover Tree, right there. There's a big light pin for 65. I was just telling you what are what the prices are like. Right, there's a Renoir. Renoir is known for their copper, vintage copper. Um, jewelry. More Renoir right there. And they put Renoir in quotes. Does that mean? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I did get one bracelet for $14, and now we're at Goodwill. Uh, I'm looking at the belts, actually. Belts are still $2.99. Here is a really cute laser cut. Um, waist belt with a little bit of a stretch panel and it is by the brand Lena Pell, which is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It's leather with a stretch panel. I'm gonna grab that one. Um, there's this one which is by the brand Old Navy and that's really cute with like a distressed pattern leather but um, I don't know, it's a little bit more distressed than I would like, and the owner put in their own holds. And I'm not really seeing anything else that's like leather. Okay, let's look at shoes together. What are these? Oh, Donald Liner. Huh. And they say six on the bottom. Where is the price tag? Anyways, I was saying that these toes are a little bit worn. I mean, it is a cuter style than a lot of Donald Piner. Here's some Madewell sandals. And they are made well. Um, I'm not gonna grab them, they are $7.99. Here are some really cute boots. They're genuine suede and they say, say free people in the inside. You guys can't see, but they have like super cute long tassels, really tall, possibly over the knee. I'm gonna grab these. You guys know I sold my last free people for over $100, so these are $14.99. Yay, we have some shoes. Okay, um, it's 
some vintage shoes, naturalizer, <gasps> more Donald Planner. Oh, these are only four dollars. I'm gonna grab these. I know Donald Planner doesn't do the latest, but those are in really great shape and they're kind of cute. They're like kitten heel. Um, yeah. All right, that might be. Oh, what is this? Paddlers. Interesting. I don't think I'm gonna get those, but those look similar to some brands that I do sell, like Teos, Nayot. I think that might be it for shoes. Cabby, ooh, Cabby. These are cute, we're gonna get these. They have horse bit, they're velvet, they're cute. I've never sold Cabby shoes before, yes. All right guys, I am done shopping. The only pair of shoes that I did pick up without showing you guys are these. These are some Cole Hans, and I don't pick up every Cole Han shoe. These are $12.99 men's shoe. The reason I picked these up is because of the style. They are a wingtip with um, a darker brown leather, I'm sorry, suede, and then a lighter brown leather. And then it has like the perforation, and yeah, so. I got these for $12.99. We'll see how those do. My husband was like, oh, are those for me? He loves his Cole Hans, right, babe? He's driving. Um, but guess what, you guys? So I'm getting ready to be picked up um, from my, like, my husband's driving to pick me up. And as we're getting, I'm getting into the car, an accident happens, like, 20 feet away from me, 30 feet away from me. Something like that. Literally, ksh, right as I'm like getting into the car. So an accident happened um, where someone was pulling out into traffic and got smashed and that happened right there. And uh, yeah, that was kind of crazy. Everyone was fine. So um, that was the woe of the day. But yeah, so we're gonna go grab some dinner. Sorry, you guys are jiggling in the car with me but yeah we're gonna go grab some dinner we've had a long day uh but yeah definitely stay tuned for the caves portion because i did record what the gift shop had and they had different sections where you can see the different raw stones like labradorite and um like chrysocolla and all those different stones that we see a lot of time in jewelry that we're selling so that that was super interesting to see um, so yeah, let's uh, get into that portion and I'm going to say um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously. Bye guys!